Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how I set up a paludarium for my alpine newts. For this build I'm using a standard 10 gallon aquarium that I water tested ahead of time to make sure it still holds water. Next I got a piece of glass cut to create a barrier between the terrestrial and the aquatic side. Taped the glass to the aquarium and then siliconed it in place. I unfortunately could only find the white silicone at this time and I made a big mess with it. But don't worry, we can clean it up and cover it up later. I then waited around 48 hours for the silicone to fully cure, and then water tested it to make sure that there would be no leaks to the terrestrial portion. Once I confirmed that the silicone was good, I took a blade and cleaned up all the excess silicone. I then took some landscaping fabric and covered the glass separation. This is to allow for planting some marginal epiphytes onto it and will make it easier for the newts to climb as well. I secured it on the aquatic side with pieces of rock, and for the terrestrial side, there was no need to secure it as the hydro balls from the drainage layer will hold it down. But before I continue to add the hydro balls, I added this plastic tube in the back corner. This will allow me to empty the drainage layer if it fills up with too much water. I also made holes in the plastic tube to allow for more access for the water. Ideally, plumbing your tank would be a lot easier, but this is what I decided to do this time. I then covered the hydro balls with more landscaping fabric and added the soil. Also, make sure you cover the drainage tube with a rock or something similar so the newts don't get in. Now to deal with the aquatic portion. I'm using the Carib Sea Supernaturals white sand as substrate for the aquatic side. For filtration, I'm using this small sponge filter that will be connected to an air pump. Finally, it's time to scape. I played around with a bunch of cork branches and pieces of cork bark till I got a scape that I liked. Next, it was time to start planting the terrestrial side. I'll put the names of the plants on the screen and in the description. Next, I added leaf litter. Then I added live sphagnum moss. Okay, time to plant the aquatic portion. First, I got small pieces of dragon stone and using aquarium glue attached pieces of Anubius and Bucephalandra onto them. I then attached another piece of Anubius onto the cork branch and a piece of Bucephalandra onto the landscaping fabric that's covering the glass barrier. I chose to use Anubius and Bucephalandra because both are epiphytes and both can continue to grow even if they break the surface of the water. Next, I took some Java moss and added it around the water's edge. I then attached the pump to the filter and filled up the aquarium. The filter and piece of wood started floating, so I had to wait a few days for them to become waterlogged and then continue. Once they were no longer floating, I turned on the filter and added Prime. The tank is now complete. But there's one more thing that we need to address and that's the lid. Standard 10 gallon terrarium lids usually look like this. This allows for too much airflow and reduces the humidity too quickly for the newts. To fix this, I decided to put strips of tape on both sides, only leaving about a third of the ventilation open. Okay, it's finally time to release the newts. I didn't really see them for a few days, but once they had settled in, I started seeing them explore the terrestrial side. I didn't see them in the water for almost a month, and then one morning I entered the room and saw both of them swimming around. Now one of them is in the water frequently, but the other newt still seems to prefer being on land more. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. If you have any questions on the build or on Alpine Newt Care, leave it in the comments below or reach out to me on Instagram, I'd be happy to help. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like and subscribe to the channel to see future builds and more care guides. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.